Good day everyone, this is Dude Dude, along with Tommy, hello. And today we have the key play, Pokemon Asia. K20228 Pikachu. <laughs> and this is the last of uh slight model-esque builds from Key Play. They have other Pokemon items that can be noted in other of our videos. Yes. Some nice Pokemon flower slash succulent sets. Yep. And such of that nature. And weird cars. Oh, so no many weird cars. QR code. Yeah. That leads you to a website in China. So I'll let you do that. Bigger. Move this off screen for just a second. Yes. As I open it. With a knife! <laughs> I'm so done. I just nicked the package. This is a very interestingly shaped piece. Anyway. I, I will note the ears are technically two pieces that are already together because of a painting. Yes. That way the lines don't, there's no breaks in the lines. And that's not uncommon to see from Keyplay where they'll have pieces already together. Yes. To prevent weird mistakes from weird that painting happening. Weird issues. Uh, and that said, I'm gonna have to be careful with some of these bricks. For example, I'm pretty sure this is going to be part of a tail. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are going to be part of a tail. So we should probably um, <clears throat> do a little bit of a slowdown on this particular set because there are so many printed. Just in case. Just in case. Dude, are you going to be upset if I assemble, you, assemble the arms for you? Oh, feel free. Okay. Saves you a step later. Yeah. Well, it's not like you're assembling most of the body. No. It's kind of like snapping those two together. I haven't read enough into the directions to know for sure, but I'm fairly positive that is going to be needed anyway. Again, for the tail. But we'll see. Okay, these should be sorted over here now. Okay. Some of them are off screen unintentionally. Yeah, I'm. Uh, as I say, the meanest thing I can. Wow, you put those far away. <laughs> <laughs> it was much easier for me to sort them closer to me. Oh, true. <laughs> off with two. Okay. There we go. Is that a little better? Much. Thank you. Pikachu. That's me starting with the underside first. Lots of extra support. Yes. Which has been a nice trend. Yeah, that's been a very helpful thing during these model builds. Well, I say model, but... They're a fun hybrid. Yeah, these are definitely a hybrid model slash Lego -ish. Build. Yeah. They're fun. Yes. And generally they go quite quick. Oh, yes. It varies a little depending on the internal structure. Yes. But for and, the most part. And if there's a leg issue. Yes. Because, yeah, some of the directions could have been clearer. They could have keyed. But one time they don't key something, so it can only go on one, one way. specific. And where it's important for it to go on the, that exact way. Yeah. See Gengar build for more details. Yes. And also his base popped off oh, when well. I picked him up. have a Pikachu base. And now we build 
Pikachu a little differently than most of y'allers. Huh. Hold on one second as I... This is a nice little translucent base for electricity. Here we are. And if you're wondering what I was doing, I made a joke in a previous video because we recorded it right beforehand, and I bent my glasses that I wear. Oops. And I forgot to fix the nose pieces. Oopsies. On the offside, it's amazing how, um, tools that are used for um, doing crafts and models work amazingly well for fixing minor bends in glass frames. Yes. It didn't affect the um, lenses themselves, so it was a very minor, it, it was a minor readjustment it needed. Yes. When comedy gets a little too physical. Yeah, I was trying to make a joke of hitting head on table when Jigglypuff was Same. singing, and instead I slammed my um, glasses <laughs> into my face. Thankfully, Oops. that was not on face cam because, first off, ow, and <laughs> second, ow, my ego. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to talk about, it's another to show it. Mm. And clearly, I have no problem talking about mistakes I've made. Showing them, showing them is more problematic. <laughs> and there is my logic. Okay, so decide where that's the f pointing towards the front. So this is the back, and this is the butt. Ah, I thought it would have been the um piece that I highlighted before might have been the butt based on the shape. Ah. Which, you know, the it was missing the stripes, but well. I think that is the chest. That is, I'm pretty sure that is the chest and the hip area. Right here. Let's see. Oop. I need these two. And these two, as I now actually build up the side. I'm actually surprised they had me put on the um, peak first before they had me do this. Yes. It doesn't affect putting it together and I'm just going, huh. But again, this is, I I've made this remark in the prior uh, Jigglypuff video. I wonder how many different people were writing directions for this particular line. Because they all seem to have a slightly different starting point. Now, one of these does say right and one says left. It's just hard to tell because it's actually inside there. Yes. But just, just to give a quick example. If I was to put this one on the wrong side, would it look off? No, which means I probably had it on wrong anyway. <laughs> How's that for an answer? It looks exactly the same as I had it before. Oh well. I suppose the concern might be for the for the leg holes. I don't know. Well, yeah, but that's but that's in the bottom yeah. piece. Kind you know, of like these also are marked left and right, and they're almost identical. Hmm. I'm just going, uh, I don't know. I suppose this, yeah, the seam didn't line up right there. So you can see I screwed that one up. And then I pushed too far in. There's my brick separator. <laughs> now, there's a whole lot the to top I can use. There we go. Take the whole side off. Now, when I put the other one on, yeah, That's that lines up. That's a much up. smoother. Yay, that example, when I actually was trying to do it wrong, actually worked. And then it backfired because it couldn't get it <laughs> off. <laughs> so, yes. I'm, Things happen. So, yes. Do look for the left and right. And it is in the, um, 
English lettering system for that. Yes. So. Okay, the arms, however, should be the same based on what the directions are saying. We'll see momentarily. Does that look right? Yes. They look the same. Yes. So, yay. Are they able to be adjusted? adjusted. Yes. Okay. Yes, the only one who doesn't have adjustable arms is Snorlax. And now we put the front on. We have most of the Pikachu. Now we set down the body. Actually, we pick up the body. <laughs> to put on the feet proper. Yeah. Yeah, these are keyed so they only go in one side. Ta-da! Feet. My concern when it came to the um, hips, essentially, whether they needed to be right or left, uh, was whether the pegs would be blocked by the hip pieces. Uh -huh. If they didn't go in a certain way. A nice yellow piece inside. Oh, you're probably for the tail. I'm going, I'm concerned. Oh, wait, no, we're fine. <laughs> okay. So. This is important. This is the back piece. As Kami pointed out, there's the copyright symbol. Yes. Now from there, here. Okay, the ears are the same either way as they go in. Yes. And the base of the ears is very similar to other um, key play builds we've done that have Pikachu theming. The very bottom where there's a, a loop essentially to connect them. Okay, now these are labeled left and right. Uh, hold on, let me turn them so I can easily go. Okay, this side's left. Yep. I had a momentary. Uh, I forgot which way is which. Put the ears down for a second. Put the top piece on here. And as you can see, Pikachu has adjustable ears. Yes, when, bu when building these um, and they face you, sometimes it's it's uh, stage left versus stage right. Yeah. And which can be confusing even for a thespian. <laughs> and now that that's in place, there's pegs that on the face that go into the ears to add a little extra support. I want to say these are probably parts of the tail, tail as well since yep. we haven't seen them show up in the body proper. And there you go. That nicely hides that. Now it would have me put on the feet. And now I've built up a tail. Yes. I'm going to take this piece off for a minute just to make it easier to build the tail. So, let's see. That is the wrong one. This is the right printed. So with that. And now I need this one printed piece here to be the transition from yes. brown to yellow. Sorry, as I get quiet for a second as I <laughs> look at Focus. this and go, okay, how do I do this again? Careful, like. Yes. Oh. Now, where do all of these come in? They will be going on the back. Ah. I built this wrong, didn't I? Yep. That, that's sad. Uh-oh.
What went wrong? I built it looking at this as the top and the instructions had it as I should have been looking at it this way. Mm. So I just kind of mirrored it. Mm. On the upside, that was a very quick fix. And now that goes on without issue. And now we get into all of these little pieces here. Yes. Because these actually reverse the direction of the bricks. Aha. Uh -huh. So it makes an anti stud a stud. Yes. Thus locking that in. And as you see, it will match that. But now we get to do that with all the little yellow spaces. Yes. So I think this will be the, it's a similar building style as other key play Pikachus we've done. But I think this is going to be the most substantial Pikachu tail. Oh, by far. Just because there's so many pieces going into it. True. Get I'm smacked in the face with Iron Tail on uh, with that, it's gonna hurt. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah, this is obviously the most tedious portion of the build. Correct that. Place this to lock it in. And now it's a fairly solid tail. Yes. This, this, this is going to hurt if someone gets hit with it. <laughs> and then we just need to align him on the base. Like that. Hey! Oh, he, he very sits up cute. nicely. Now, real quick, we have Stickly Puff. Togepi, Gengar, Oop, we need to scoot people down here, there we go, Flip -flip. and Snorlax, Gengar. Gengar keeps wanting to come off the base, stop dropping the base, we know you were a DJ in the <laughs> last life, DJ Gengar, <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, you'd think he'd play a lot of death metal. Nope. Christian rap. Yeah. Don't know why. <laughs> Anyhow. That, that wasn't a religious joke. That was just going, I needed something. Unexpected. Uh-huh. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for joining us as we did all these builds. Please feel free to check out our other videos. And in the meantime... Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.